Yo, what is up guys? Dale Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, if you could hit the subscribe button, it really helps me out. And also, if you could smash the like, once again it goes a long way. Anyway, Dillian White will be returning to the ring on the 2nd of May at the Manchester Arena. He is going to be fighting heavyweight veteran Alexander Povetkin. This fight will be on pay-per-view in the UK, Sky Sports Box Office, and in the US. I presume this is going to be on the zone. Now what do we make of this fight? Well, first things first, I think it is clear to see Alexander Povetkin at this stage has seen better days. He is on the downward slide, but nevertheless, he is still a good fighter. He's very experienced, he carries power, excellent boxer, you know, great fundamentals. And he's still a solid fighter. Whereas Dillian White, of course, not as good as Povetkin technically, but, you know, he's a stronger, bigger man, a younger man, a fresher man. And ultimately, he is going to be a fairly sizable bookie's favourite going into this fight. At least I presume so anyway. That's not to say this fight is bad or that it isn't risky for Dillian White. I think this fight does have a risk factor to it. Like I say, Povetkin is past his best at this point. But he does have bag loads of experience, great boxing fundamentals, he was a great amateur, and he can really punch. He has genuine power in that left hook and that chopping overhand right. If Dillian White makes a mistake, who knows what could happen. I mean, Dillian's been knocked out before, he's been hurt by Robert Hellanius, he's been dropped by Oscar Rivas, got hurt by Chisora. If Povetkin lands flush, he can certainly hurt Dillian White, maybe even knock him out. So... Despite Povetkin not being in his prime anymore, I still think this is a fairly dangerous fight and a decent fight for Dillian White. I would have preferred a few other names maybe. You know, maybe somebody like Michael Hunter for example. I felt Hunter just about beat Povetkin in their last fight and stylistically Michael Hunter, in my opinion, would be a lot tougher for Dillian White than this version of Alexander Povetkin. So, I don't think it's the strongest fight Dillian White could have taken, but, you know, Povetkin is pretty much still a top 10 heavyweight just about, so he's fighting another good contender, and uh, stylistically this fight should gel. You know, Dillian White himself is an aggressive fighter, he likes to march forwards behind that hard jab, dig to the body, you know, come over the top with that right hand to the head. Dillian's an aggressive fighter with power, as is Povetkin. You know, Povetkin is a front foot counterpuncher, a bit of a pressure fighter as well. So I think stylistically, this fight could actually make the fireworks. And yeah, it's not a terrible fight. Is this a pay-per-view worthy fight? Well, I guess that depends on who you're asking. But if you're asking me, despite me thinking the fight is good, I won't be buying it. I've got to be honest, I just don't think a fight like this is worth 20 quid. And I like both fighters, I think both fighters are entertaining. But this level of fight isn't something I'm willing to pay for on pay-per-view, I have to be honest. And, um, you know, Sky in May and June, they've got a stacked schedule in terms of pay-per-view. Dillian White vs. Povetkin, May 2nd. Chisora vs. Yusek, May 23rd. Joshua Pulev, June 20th. So in the space of six weeks or so, Sky Sports box office are going to have three pay-per-views. And that is pretty excessive, you know? I mean, let's be honest, Dillian White is a guy who's not even fought for a world title, let alone won a world title. We have Chisora headlining a pay-per-view in 2020. I know Yusek's a great fighter, he really is, but is Chisora Yusek really pay-per-view worthy? I mean, let's be honest, if somebody turned around to you and said, after Chisora lost to Tyson Fury in the rematch in 2014, when he retired on his stool, if somebody told you then... Six years down the line in 2020, Derek Chisora is going to be headlining Sky Sports pay-per-view shows. You would call them crazy. Even after Chisora's loss to Ajit Kabayel in Monaco in 2017, again, if you said after that, three years later, Chisora's going to be headlining pay-per-views, you would say they are nuts. And listen, again, I like White vs. Povetkin. I think it's a perfectly good fight. No problem with the actual fight itself. You know, just that paywall. And same goes for Yusek versus Chizora. I like the fight. I think it's a great test for Yusek in the heavyweight division. I like the fight, but again, is it really pay-per-view worthy? Should Derek Chizora be headlining pay-per-views in 2020? I'm not so sure, man. I'm not so sure. 
I think with both of these cards, Chizora Yusek and White versus Povetkin, I really do believe Eddie Hearn needs to stack these cards because as headliners, I'll be honest, they're not really doing it for me. They're not really doing it for me. I will reserve judgment until we actually see the full cards. Maybe my mind will change, but we will see. I'm sure that'll be confirmed in the coming weeks. Anyway, share your thoughts below. What do you think of Dillian White versus Alexander Povetkin? Like I said, I like the fight. I think it's fairly risky. Obviously, I'm making Dillian White a fair favourite. But, you know, an upset isn't outside of the realms of possibility. And it will be a fun fight. So, yeah, it's one of those ones. I like the fight, but I don't really appreciate that it's on pay-per-view, to be honest. I just think it's getting a little bit silly now. But that's just my opinion. Ultimately, you know, the boxing fan base will decide that. If these fights do good numbers, obviously then they're worth pay-per-view, but I don't think I'll be contributing to those numbers. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, share your thoughts below. What do you make of this news? What do you make of this fight? Peace.